We're always looking for quick fixes to make things easier or better. So here's one thing that will significantly improve your swim. Now, one of the things that makes swimming so difficult is the resistance of the water. Water is more dense than air, and therefore it's harder and more difficult to travel and pass through. And as we increase the surface area of an object that we're trying to pass through the water, the more resistance we feel. Now, a good example of this is literally with ourselves. So if we were to push off the wall in a big outstretched shape, in a starfish shape, we're gonna feel more resistance than say a nice tucked up and streamlined position like this. And the reason behind that is because we have increased the frontal area. So imagine straight on, big frontal area, surface area that we're trying to push through the water as opposed to a nice tucked up and streamlined position. Another way in which we can re reduce resistance is by being higher in the water. If you imagine here, a speedboat skimming along the surface of the water versus a large container ship with its hull deep into the water, almost plowing its way through the water. And the same with ourselves. If we can make ourselves higher in the water, hopefully there's less of us in the water, and that means that we can swim faster and more easily. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? So how do we go about this? Well, the key is with the catch. Now, if you've watched any of our videos before, you will likely have heard us talking a lot about the catch phase of the front crawl stroke, and that is the part where our hand first enters the water and we initiate the catch phase. Now, you may be wondering, I don't know if this has got anything to do with our body position in the water. Well, it has, in many ways, actually. See, the idea of the catch phase is literally to catch the water. We aim to get a purchase of the water straight away by almost pushing down upon the water when the hand first enters. The action we should aim for is as if we're putting our arm around a barrel in front of us. That way we get the elbow up into a nice strong position to keep pushing and working with the water before transitioning into the pull phase underneath our body. Now obviously by pushing down a fraction on the water as the hand first enters, we'll hopefully give our stroke a little bit of lift and therefore hopefully keeping us higher in the water. But also by applying force as part of the stroke and through the rest of the catch and pull phase will hopefully mean that we don't have any dead or slow spots to the stroke, meaning that we keep the momentum going and again, hopefully keeping us higher in the water. Now trying to get a good purchase of the water with your arm outstretched in front of you is quite a skill really and honestly, quite difficult. Added to that, you're almost trying to do this instantaneously as soon as your hand enters the water. And for that reason, a lot of people really struggle to do it. They struggle to get a good catch, if at all. And the result is that they sink a little bit in the water and they lose momentum and speed. And then they try to get that speed momentum back up by pulling harder through other parts of stroke, such as the pull phase. So you end up with this rather stop-start style of swimming, an incredibly inefficient way of swimming. You can liken it a little bit to cycling and just putting the brakes on slightly, slowing down and then trying to get your speed back up. So let's run you through a few quick drills and tips to help you better this. Right, the first thing we're gonna do might please a few of you out there because we're actually going to get out of the pool. However, this isn't the end of the session, so don't get too excited just yet. What we're gonna do is try and demonstrate the importance of that high elbow position that you may have heard people talking about. And to do that, we're actually gonna put both hands on the side of the pool and get ourselves out. Now, firstly, what I want you to do is drop your elbows down below your hands and try getting yourself out. <laughs> it's really quite hard. Now, if we switch this one up, we put our elbows above our hands into quite a strong position and get ourselves out. It is much easier. And that is essentially what we're trying to do during the catch phase of the stroke. We're trying to get that elbow up into a strong position. Now to one of my favorite drills for improving your catch, and that is the skull drill. I've got to say, I probably bore Heather and James with this drill. I mention it a lot, but it seriously does help. And the reason being, because it really gets you familiar with applying force and catching the water in this area here, just below the surface of the water, and in turn, helps to strengthen up the arms, the shoulders, and the back. Start with your arms outstretched and in line with your shoulders. Pitch your hands ever so slightly and then scoop the water, pushing outwards by about a foot to either side. Keep the movement fluid and try to hold on to the pressure of the water throughout. Scoop around and back into the center. You should almost be creating a figure of eight shape 
with your hands. Also, try to keep your arms straight throughout with a slight softness in the elbow. You should be able to propel yourself forward with just the movement of your arms. If you like, you can actually pop a pool boy in between your legs to help keep them afloat. And if you need, you can flutter your legs a little too. Now, my usual progression from this is the doggy paddle drill. This is essentially a full freestyle or front crawl stroke, but obviously without the recovery phase of the stroke. And the reason I like this one so much is because it forces you to slow the stroke down and really watch what you're doing. Start with one arm outstretched, push down upon the water slightly, pushing that elbow up. Keep that pressure in your hand as you continue to put your arm around that imaginary barrel. When your hand is directly below your head, your elbow should be around 90 to 120 degrees in angle. Again, a nice strong position. Continue to push the water behind you, finishing with a straight arm at the back of the stroke by the hip. Then slide the hand back underneath the water towards the front. Make sure not to pause at the back or the front of the stroke. Well, perform these drills and really focus on that catch and I can almost guarantee that you will see improvements in your swimming. If not instantly, definitely within a couple of months of really working on this. Now, as with most drills, as we often say, we recommend you do these in short reps, something like 10 to 25 meters at a time with nice recoveries between. You can even do these drills straight off into a bit of a full stroke swimming where you try and put that technique to practice. Well guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Please do give it a like give it a thumbs up and don't forget support GTN by subscribing to the channel making sure that you don't miss any more videos.